Okay. So this is the problem with the Ford 7.5 inch differential and the lock right. Um, and this also applies to certain gear ratios on the 8.8 .8 and other vehicles too as well. Um, if you get a gear ratio, this is a 373, if you get a gear ratio that um, is higher than that, like let's say it's 373 or 410, 456, something like that. The as it as the ratio gets bigger, the bevel here increases. Okay, and it gets thicker. The ring gear itself gets thicker, or should I say, it gets taller on this end. What happens is it starts to block the pinion pin here, the cross pin of the carrier. Okay, that that pin. Okay, the factory. What they do is they just cut out a piece of the pin that makes it weaker and it also makes it incompatible with the standard Lockrite pin that's included with most kits. Now Lockrite does make a pin that is <clears throat> a pin that um, has a groove in it so that it can slide past that tooth there. The problem with that is well since you've got less metal on that pin it's weaker and the other problem is that to get the factory pin out you still have to remove the whole carrier taking these nuts out and then maybe even having to reset the backlash on this so that it meshes with the uh, pinion over there well. So anyway, the problem is this cutout only goes halfway down the pin. Let's you get the pin halfway, but that's it. So what I'm going to do is not recommended or approved by any factory, not Lockrite, not Ford, but I'm going to actually grind down the tooth here a little bit and uh, to allow that pin to slide out. Now, uh, a lot of people online have done this with no adverse consequences, but um, you can do so at your own risk. The theory behind why it's okay is that the pinion does not mesh with the ring gear across the entire edge. It really only meshes in a semicircular area in the middle of that. So the edge that we're grinding down should never come into contact with the pinion gear. So that's the plan. So what we've done here is we've masked the area so that we don't get um, shavings of metal and uh, this all inside the differential that would be bad wearing everything out. So what I've tried to do as best I can is mask the area to keep the dust out of that area and then of course when we're done we're going to clean it as best as we can. And we're going to be grinding this tooth down here. Just that one. There you have it. It's out. Okay, so in order to get the C-clips out, we had to actually loosen, we had to remove the tires, 
the wheels and loosen the drum brake a little bit because uh, the lug nuts actually pull the axle out and didn't leave us enough room to slide the C-clips out. So now without the wheels and the drum brakes out of the way. All right, so next step is to assemble the right locker. <laughs> okay, so I know you probably wanted to see me actually install the lock right, and that was my plan. But this is definitely not that easy to uh, to do with one hand, or and I really needed my assistant as well, my assistant slash dad. So there was nobody to videotape it. Um, it's basically just like the instructions, and it takes a little bit of uh, you know just follow the instructions and make sure that uh, you get all the parts in the right order, and uh, be careful when you're putting the springs that they don't fly off putting a bunch of grease on it helps. So anyway, we got the tires back on and we've got the lock right installed and so now to check out the ratcheting I'm gonna hold one tire in place. Go ahead and spin the other one. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Turn it the other way to unlock it. There, now to forward. So that's the annoying sound that most people complain about on the lock right. Uh, but of course that's what allows us to go and move both tires um, that's why that's the whole point of doing all of this in the first place so go ahead and turn that again Forward. yeah unlock it half a turn back there you go now okay so and now when you turn them together now they're locked you turn and you can see that the teeth lock in and both wheels turn completely locked okay well now let's put everything back together